Hi and welcome back to Dad's RC Hangar. It would seem only yesterday that I did a video about something. Yes, it was yesterday. But today's that Friday feeling. Yes, finally we are at the end of the week. Coming up to the weekend, which happens to be really rainy and windy. But that's okay, because I'm sure near you it's going to be lovely and sunny. So let's get on with this video, because I've got a lot to do. Alrighty, now you're saying, why am I staring at Dad's RC's belly? Chris, you got a big belly. Yes, I know. It's because I train myself to be Father Christmas every year. Oh yes. Right, so, what are we doing? Well, this is what we're doing, okay? We are going to get this lovely four-stroke engine, if you can see that. I can't see if it's in the shot or in focus because my eyes are not in focus. But we've got this lovely Hemi head. Now Hemi head, every time I hear the word Hemi, it reminds me of a big muscle car, American muscle car. Yes. Anyway, it's our Sato high powered high cam series engine. Oh yes. And this is going to be for, um, maybe if I could sit down here and, and lie down and... Hello. Oh, I'm knackered. I'm going to sleep. No, I'm not going to sleep because it's Friday. Right, so, <laughs> we're, anyway, this is for the Tiger Moth. Now, the reason I pointed the camera here so you don't have to look at me, you can look at what I'm doing. Now, yes, I could have put it right over in the vast expanse of the corner that's just there. And, uh, you know, but yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do, I want to get this going. Highly dangerous in the hangar, but I want to get it going. Now, I've got a lot of building work to do, not just for the engine, We've got to sh we'll show you that in a minute. Um, but I've got to get ready so I can do bits and pieces. Now before I take this out, um, let's look through this thing. Now it was my wife's fault because she said to me, oh what are you doing, are you going to do your video tonight? I said yes but I've got to build a lot of stuff to build. And she said to me, well why don't you film me building? And I thought well hang about, I like to watch videos with people building stuff. So why not glow engines messy noisy explosions why don't i just stick with the good old electric well because i've got a tiger moth and i believe that a tiger moth lovely as the plane is should be combustion fuel it shouldn't be electric i don't know what it is it should have a nice wooden propeller it should have an engine it should make noise and it should fly so this is why now Little did I know that suddenly doing a glow engine is not as simple as it sounds. You need a lot of stuff. So, this is what I've been doing. Collecting. Right, now, i got this box. This is my little box that's going to be for my flight box. It's going to be for my glow engine. Now, when I got it, it was okay, but it was a bit shit. I had to strengthen it up a bit. Now... I put a new dowling rod in here, which you didn't see, with two screws on the side. Here is my battery, a 12 volt battery, 9 volt, 12 volt battery, which is the JP rechargeable battery, which is a sealed rechargeable lead acid battery. Now, I believe I can charge this from my charger, but if not, I did get over here a charger. Yep, got that, check. Let's put it over there anyway. We've got that, check. This drawer here that holds your transmitter, um, it was broken, but I fixed it. I fixed that. I do want to cut, I'm not going to do it on today, because I don't need to do that today. Um, but I, I need to cut a sliver so I can put some of my uh, rubber there, so it's nice. But this is nice and sturdy now. It wasn't, it was falling apart, but it is what it is. Nice little drawer, that comes out, that's how I fixed the other bit. I like this. I know you're thinking, well, Chris, where's the building going to come on? Well, I'm just showing you my bits and pieces. So I've got lots of bits and pieces. I've got the uh, little um, glow starter thing. I think one of my lights might be a bit too bright because I can't see every time I look here. <laughs> and I've got, I need to get this. This is the airspeed sensor or airspeed, what's it called? GT Power Professional Tac, no, what's it? Tachometer, tachometer. Word of the day, tachometer. Anyway, 
So this is because I've got to run the engine in. So I needed that to tell me what speed it was going. I know I'm going fast because I'm trying to cram this in and when I do the building it's going to be one of them really kind of music and, and yeah stuff. I, I, you know I, I'm, I've never sort of built stuff apart from planes so it's a bit weird. I haven't really got the camera angle have I? I don't know who knows. Just go and get yourself a cup of pause it pause it right now go and get yourself a cup of tea cup of coffee a beer whatever you fancy then come back and just sit down and relax and watch it. So. This is that now. I have got one of these things. Now I'm going to come around the other side. I'm going to move this stool. Look, it's a bit dusty. I have got one of these. In fact, let me just turn this light down over there because I know it's a bit too bright. I, I, I messed about with it yesterday when I done that little winner movie, which was the cracking. There you go. Right. So this is my multifunction panel. Nice, huh? I got all these from my local hobby shop. I'm sure there was just stuff he had lying around he needed to get rid of. It's all good. Now this comes in a little plastic box. And this is where it sits because this is where the battery sits. It doesn't fit. But I did draw and, and that needs gluing as you can kind of, yeah, that needs, it, it needs a bit of TLC. Which I've been giving it, it's got a nice handle now and everything else. So I need to cut this out to fit in this. Why do I fit this in here? Well, mainly because I've got a fuel pump on here. So yeah, <coughs> what else did we get? I know I'm flying through this fast, but hey. So the next piece we need to get, now I've got this from eBay, this is really cool, okay. This is for the uh, bench testing. So I've got a nice little vise for the motor to hold in. I have got the, um, in fact, we should we just, just tip that up just a little bit on the camera. Just a little bit, I'm sorry, hold tight, because I'm going to move you, hold tight, hold tight, here we go, uh, here we go, right, okay, here we, there we go, oh look, there we go, I can zoom out and everything, wow, the trouble is I zoom out and you can't see anything, now we can see me, and it, yeah, come on, you know, so, so there's my fuel tank, and the little holder, really good, we'll put all this together in a minute, um, it's not got great instructions, uh, the instructions are a little piece of paper like that, Anyway, so then we've got a little vice to hold it. We've got a little bag of bits and pipes and stuff. So this is what we're going to do today to get this all built. So I can put fuel in the engine, which I've got a propeller for, and go for it. Now this is oh, this is my little uh, uh, is it, is it di hobby uh, was it Horizon hobby. It's a, it's a rechargeable battery. And presumably I can recharge it by, by sticking it on my little recharger and it will charge the battery because I was wondering how to charge the battery. It's got a lithium battery in here I think. Yes, so this is what we're going to do today. So, what should we start off with? Now do I need to pump? I mean this is the fuel I got. My little fuel. Um, it is Optimac, Optimix 4 stroke 12. Now he did say, Ian in the shop says this is what I need, so I'm going to go for him. Um, I'm going to believe him and <laughs> hopefully I'm going to blow myself up. Oh. So this will be probably over in a flash, where me it's going to be like probably about an hour long. Because I don't know if this is going to do the trick. Anyway, key music. I think I broke the end. Let's give it a go.
this is going to charge my little doobie flip on there uh, on that's charging that so that might give me enough glow if not I'll have to uh, I mean yeah oh I nearly forgot to show you <coughs> I also got a starter uh, I mean you know you gotta do that with your car battery wow is that not even in focus is it there you go so you know it's the only one he had in there but I thought well yeah it looks a bit weird and wonderful but I suppose it's gonna work I don't know this is it this is this is my journey you see this is what it's all about you see all following my journey so instead of me suddenly going surprise this is what I did you're following my crazy journey of um, how I get things done in the hangar okay so we can let that charge over there we get rid of that and um, we're gonna need my drill in a minute so we'll stick the drill over there we'll stick that over there we'll stick this over here I don't know if I'm even in shot anymore this is just a don't worry about it this is space oh <coughs> nearly forgot <coughs> best invention ever I didn't even know I was here. Right. <laughs> What's our next thing we're doing? <coughs> oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. Now, this is a bit of a timber that I've got. Old bit of timber. Oh, hello. Don't worry about it too much. Now, I know we can put this at the front because this is where engine's going to sit. Um, if you didn't see my show the other day, then uh, I did get this out on the live show, Mrs. Okay, so the prop sits quite forward, so we can put this back a bit. We've got a rudery thing. Now, this was a bit of old wood, um, but for today's purpose, for two days' purposes, purpose, we're just gonna just quickly do this. Um, I'll take all this apart and do it a lot nicer. So this has got to go now let me have a look at the engine because I'm not going to show you yet because we'll go we'll, we'll have a nice little look at that on this engine the throttle is on the left hand side there below here you've got a little tube there and that tube because I really look at this that tube is your throttle tube you know I want to have a look, proper little throttle thing but this is the throttle tube that you get so let's stick it in
okay so the bottle will sit on here now before we've got some tubes tubes we have tubes to say I, I did read what uh, what the what it do you get a little little kind of um, I probably won't see that but it's the valve for the uh, fuel that goes in and it happens to feel fit a glow plug oh I've got that as well a little glow plug uh, ratchety thing So we'll cut that down. I've got spare tube, so it's all good. Let's put that in there and then stick that one in there. Could probably have a bit smaller, but we'll try that. Uh, then I have the fuel that goes on the middle one. On there, and that should go into the um, doobie flip. And I've got some lovely blue stuff here. That'll be this one that will go into the exhaust. So I reckon we, we're good. We're good there, aren't we? Please, someone tell me we are. As I say, we'll find out. It'll either go very wrong or it'll go brilliantly right. I'd rather the uh, the first one, no, the second one, <laughs> the latter, which means it will go really great. And I'm hoping I can get all this done in one video. Let's get out the engine. This is the moment you've been all waiting for. I'm not going to go for a slow mo, but I'm going to get out this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful engine. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that sexy? I mean, okay, there's a lot of things that are sexy in this world, but this is sexy for an engine, for a plane engine anyway. So apart from we've got a lot of stuff there, this is the uh, version two because they've got like the um, exhausts. You get lots of Allen keys, which is great if you want to take it apart. And uh, an extension from the exhaust, which we will use and it tells, gives you a little uh, manual. Oh, hang on, a manual to tell you how to do it. And a lovely Sato. Now these are at wings and wheels, I believe. Oh, I've got stickers. Oh, oh, sod the engine. Hang about, hold the press. I didn't see that. I didn't see ah, ah, ah. Stickers. Oh yeah, I like stickers. Anyway, calm back down again. Calm down. 
we're building an engine. Right, so let's stick this, uh, let's stick this engine in. Okay, so there's our engine. Now, let's get this out of the way. Oh, there's lots of, oh, there's a little gauge thing there and everything. That's really great. You get like a little, oh, you get like a poor tool kit for here. Awesome. <sighs> I'm nervous. I, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. Now, the, the, pit, the propeller I wanted was a 12 by 6. The only propeller they had, which is one of my favourite propellers, which is the Master Air Screw. Oh, can you see that? Made in America. Also, your Independence Day tomorrow. Happy Independence Day to you all. In fact, I think you're off today. Your holiday starts today. So, no excuses for watching this, unless you're completely blind drunk. There you go. Beautiful, huh? That will hurt. So, let's get this prop on, shall we? Do, 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 do. There's a little kind of thingy there, and then that one's there. Like so. Front of pole. There you go. Don't like that, the way it's a bit not, you know. But it's not wobbling about, so that's good. Make sure we put the nut on the right way. Because that goes in there. It was so scary this, it really is. Got respect. Respect. Respect that this is a piece of timber that's going to be spun round at nine well up to 9,000 revolutions a minute, a second. A second? A minute? Oh, my brain has totally gone today. I shouldn't be making a video. Stop this man now. Right. That is, that's tight to me. And then we've got our safety nut. Which, of course, is a smaller one. Well, we're here. Alrighty. Um, now I've just noticed that I've got a few flaws with the with rubber hosing and bits and pieces, but it's it's sturdy. It's screwed to the bench. It's not going to go anywhere, and I must be really crazy. But let's see if other way. There we go. That's the pump. It's filling it up. Oh, I can see it, look at that. I'm excited. Right. Now, I have to get... Let's get some fuel in, the, in there. Um, Right, that's got the fuel in there. In fact, it's got a lot of fuel in there. <laughs> As I say, this is it's messy and I'm still learning. Okay, right, okay, that's good. Fuel's there. Need to 
go anti-clockwise until you're on the pump right there I'm nervous I am really nervous I'm ner right this is it this could go terribly wrong and I'm nervous as hell now now I'm gonna put that glow plug on here we go My alarm's about to go off, so let's just open. There's smoke in the garage. The alarm. <laughs> Emergency. It's all right. Don't call the fire brigade. It's all good. Smoke is cleared. Engine is off. Engine is safe. I'm safe. Everybody's safe. Wow. As I say, you know, as they say in uh, some of these things, please don't try this at home. Now, I think the camera's a bit skew whiffed and maybe if I do that it'd be okay I don't know but that was that was awesome for me that was awesome I should have done it outside but I haven't got time to go down the field which I should really test it I don't want to do it in the garden my neighbors won't appreciate me too much um, so what we learned today we learned today to make sure that the pipes are listed with sucky and blowy got to do that <laughs> so we don't fire stuff all over the hangar because it's it just gets everywhere and I need to clean all that down there or it's going to get all greasy and horrible and horrible um, the second one is is to not start a glow engine <coughs> inside a confined area it's no good for the lungs but I just couldn't resist it I mean that that was awesome that was awesome this was just to see if the engine would work I'm going to dial it in and we'll you know there's plenty of videos out there about the uh, Sato FA62B um, and there's a gentleman out there that's got every Sato every engine that he does I'll have to try and find his YouTube um, and you know he shows you how to dial it in and everything but I just wanted to see it going for that few seconds wow we'll, we'll, we'll roll back on that anyway but yeah so this was a kind of like watch me build and break stuff and build very badly because I haven't got all the tools I want and bits and pieces but you know I'm going to take my time doing it and so I might as well do it on video and show this is my journey this is part of my journey this is what this YouTube channel is all about my crazy crazy journey be good bad or terrible it is my journey nevertheless so I hope you learned something today of not to do <laughs> a glow engine inside confined space and uh, I need to get this um, panel sorted out I'm not happy with the way it sits at the moment um but it works it charged my it recharged my my uh, glow um glow engine i don't even know the names of it um, my brain has gone today it really has but my um my my glow igniter i call it anyway and that was charged that's that's all fully charged um it also uh, the dog yeah the dog's a green uh, it also powered up my little starter which was scary that was scary um, so it's a nice little panel it does everything that I need it to do and it yeah and then I put I've got the charger for it where I can charge my battery um, 100% so yeah so I think that I do it for today I now need to go and wash my lungs out uh, <laughs> and I need to clean up a bit um, but uh, next uh, bit in fact I am on the P here so if you're feeling seasick it's because I've got the camera on the on the skew whip I've just noticed that actually. Sorry about that. It's not that bad, is it? Find yourself leaning to the side as you're watching a movie. Anyway, next week's video will be finally. I've, I've got two servos, and that's all I need for the build for the uh, Tiger Moth. We can finally um, start building the Tiger Moth. I'm going to see if it's a good weekend this weekend. I don't need to. It's not a great weekend, but if it doesn't rain, I will get this engine down the field uh, where we don't have to worry about smoke. Um, um, I'll have a chat with Keith, see if it's okay, and we'll get the engine dialed in before we put it on the Tiger Moth. But next week's video 
will be about putting the Tiger Mop together um, and starting to build that before we put the engine on and get a maiden out there. Which won't be done by me, it'll be done by someone else, um, whoever's going to do it. Um, yeah, fantastic. I'm still in awe. I'm sorry. I'm in still my cloud nine about that engine. I mean, I, it's just, I can't put it into words about looking at that engine. It's just, it's, I don't know. I can't put it in words. I just, I'm in awe. Anyway, so you be safe out there. There's still this lurgy floating about, so please be safe. Um, you know, you want to fly airplanes, so just think about it where you are. Don't get too close to people and all that sort of lovely stuff. Wear a mask if applicable. It is horrible, I know. I have to wear one every day when I go to and from work and in work at sometimes. But, you know, I want you watching my videos. I want you to be safe. So, if you can fly, keep flying, be safe and have fun. And uh, thanks for stopping by. I love you all. I really do. See you now. Bye-bye.